Welcome back. It's finally time to install Python, the Python interpreter that we've been talking about for so long. And if you're on Windows, this video is going to help you get set up. We're going to go to python.org, click on downloads, and make sure that we're downloading for Windows. We're simply going to click and I'm going to run the installer. All right, now this is really, really important. On Windows, you wanna make sure that you click on add Python to path. What this is going to allow us to do is to actually open up Python and use Python from the command prompt. I'll show you that once we install this, how it works, but make sure you click on this and also to install launcher for all users, which is recommended. So I'm going to click install now. And yes, we'll say, go ahead. Now you wanna install based on your system. You might have an older version of Windows, a newer version. Usually the python.org website will detect your machine and know what to install, but obviously install according to what you have. In my case, it's a 32-bit system. All right, come on. All right, setup was successful. Let's close. And then what I'm going to do is actually use the command prompt here. So I'm going to type into search command prompt. If I click here, and now if I type in Python, hey, check that out. We have Python working. Awesome. Now, on Windows, you can also use something called PowerShell. And PowerShell is actually, well, I prefer it over Command Prompt because the same commands that work on a Linux machine or a Mac will work on PowerShell. So again, if I do Python here and hit enter, look at that. Python is working as well. So if you have Windows and you have PowerShell available, I do recommend you use PowerShell because the commands that I use in the course will most likely work with PowerShell. Another option for Windows is something called git bash. So if I do git bash, so for git bash, if you go to git for Windows, you'll see here that it comes with git bash, which underneath the hood, what it is, it's an emulation, a bash emulation, which is a shell to allow us to use Unix commands that can be used in Mac or on Linux on the Windows machine. So that if you ever watch a tutorial where the instructor is using a Mac, for example, you can use those same commands. So to review, we have the option of using git bash if you want, or you have the option of using command prompt or my personal favorite PowerShell. So if you have PowerShell on your device, then I recommend using that, if not git bash. But because during our install, clicked on that checkbox that says, hey, add Python to our path variable, we're able to run this Python command and actually enter the Python REPL, something that will become useful and you'll see why it's useful as we go through the course. But for now, let's take a break and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.